Hi, my name is Ashley. Uh, I'm the executive chef at Idle Hour here in Quincy, Massachusetts. We are a awesome restaurant and previously a great bar spot. Now that we're in COVID, it's a little less of a bar, a little bit more of a restaurant. We do traditional foods that we take our own unique spin on. A lot of the things I do are simple. I locally source from farms and we try to make it as sustainable as possible. So what we're gonna make today is a very simple and easy butternut squash soup. Once we hit fall, it's one of my favorite things to make. Super simple to make at home. Only a handful of ingredients that you can very easily source at your local farm or farmer's market or grocery store if you have to. So first thing we're gonna get going is some onion. You don't have to worry too much about how you're cutting this. I just do a, a nice julienne real quick. For one butternut squash about this size, I'm only gonna use a half an onion because I don't want this to be about the onion. I want this to be about the butternut squash. Then we're gonna get some olive oil in a pan. We're gonna put it about medium heat because we don't want it to burn. We just want to sweat it out. Maybe caramelize a little bit, but not a lot. We're gonna dump the onions into the pot. And I like to salt my onions so that they sweat out a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is some celery and some garlic. And for the garlic, I'm just using two cloves and I'm just gonna smash them with the side of my knife and then these go into a pot. Y peelers are probably the thing that we blow through most this time of year because of the thick skins of most of the gourds we're doing. But you're just gonna peel it off. That way you're not losing a lot of butternut squash. I usually start by taking the butts off just because it's a little bit easier to cut that way. And then I'm gonna cut this nice and small so it cooks quickly. But you're just gonna dice it up. It doesn't matter what it looks like, you just want it to be relatively even. So they're starting to get a decent amount of color on them. So I'm gonna turn the uh, heat down so that they can sweat out a little bit without getting too much color. Don't have to worry too much about what this looks like. It's all gonna get pureed. As I tell some of the cooks in my kitchen, there are things to do for speed and there are things to do for love. You're just doing this for speed. Now we're gonna add this to our sweating onions. Next, we're gonna peel the apples. These are Cortland apples. The reason I use Cortland is just because they are a little bit firmer and a little more tart. They're a great baking apple. We use it right now in our French apple cake that we're making for dessert. Don't have to worry about cutting this too small because apple will cook down really easily. And then these go into the pot. And once again, we're gonna give it a stir. And then as you can see, it's a good amount of butternut squash, a little bit of apple. You can kind of see a little bit of the onions floating around in there. And that's what you're looking for because the squash soup is all about the squash. Next, we're gonna get some sage in there. I'm just gonna use probably like one sprig. We can always add more later, but we don't want it to be extremely sage heavy to start. I'm just gonna stack them up and run my knife through them. So now we're at a point where there's so much moisture coming out of the vegetables we're not gonna see any more color. So what we're gonna do now is this is just a pot of some chicken stock. We're just gonna let that simmer down. We're also at this point gonna add our sage. We don't wanna add it before that because we don't want it to burn. Turn the heat down to about a medium and we're gonna let it simmer just until everything is soft enough to puree. We're at a point now where we can puree it. Uh, as you can see, the apples have started to break down. The onions are nice and soft. The butternut squash is nice and soft. So we don't wanna let it go too far but we want it to be soft enough so that when we spin it, we get a nice smooth soup. And then we're gonna ladle some into a, a blender. You wanna make sure you have about half the amount of stuff in the blender so it doesn't explode on you. A couple things when you're blending at home. This is a hot liquid. You wanna make sure you do not have a cap on this or if you do have a cap that it's got some sort of vent. Otherwise, you're gonna create a pressure vacuum and this is gonna explode everywhere. You're gonna have a very awful mess to clean up. And then we're gonna turn it on nice and low and then turn it up gradually. Not too thick, nice and creamy. And then we're gonna sneak the mask down. Blow on it, don't burn yourself. Mm. That's delicious. Little bit of salt, maybe a tiny bit more sage, we'll be good to go. Now wash my hands, wash your hands. I like to add a little bit of olive oil on the finish just to give it a little bit of fattiness. And then because we've added a little bit, we're gonna spin it. And we don't need to go long because we've already got it to a nice smooth consistency. And 
get a nice, beautiful butternut squash soup. I like to garnish it with a little bit more olive oil and then a nice little piece of red sage. Super simple, easy to make at home, and delicious. Chef Ashley says she stays seasonal at idle hour. For example, you won't find tomatoes on her menu in January because they are out of season. She changes her menu regularly depending on what she can source from local farms. Coming up, it's like takeout, but homemade.